Welcome to Las Vegas, guys. Welcome to High Stakes Duel 2 from the Poker Go studio. This is The Way In, brought to you by DraftKings. What's up, guys? I'm Nick Shulman. I'm here with Phil Helmuth, Daniel Negreanu. I mean, uh, I've got some bones to pick. Un understood. Really needing no introduction. Well, I mean, if, if you have bones to pick, let's go. So first of all, Negreanu, you, you have, let's, I want to talk about four things. The greatest, four. I want to start with the greatest of all time poker player, greatest of all time tournament poker player, and greatest players today. Let's start with those three. So when I talked to Jason Kuhn, and Doyle Brunson, they said, you're the greatest poker tournament player of all time. Phil, it's obvious. You, you know, I mean, there's nobody to compare. You have to play at least 25 years to get that title. There's nobody who's done that. You look at golf. I mean, you look at, you look at these other sports, you have to play at least 20 years. Well, we play competitively till our 80s. I would think you have to play at least 25 years. So I think it's obvious. And you attacked my legacy and said, I'm not even in that conversation. And I was really offended. And I even felt like you lied a few times. You said that I'm lifetime loser in high rollers when I'm like 1.5 million winner in high rollers. Um, and so it was kind of frustrating for me, you know, with you attacking me. I, I just don't think that's right. Now let's talk. So I mean, there's that, and then there's the greatest of all time poker player. I think I'm in that conversation too with Doyle and me and Johnny Chan and a few others. Listen, we go to the tournament player. It might be 10 years from now, it might be you. It might be Phil Ivey. It might be uh, one of these young guys. There's some amazing talent out there. Brian Rast, you know, Jason Kuhn. It might be, uh, you know, uh, Stephen Chidwick. But right now, in 2021, I feel like I've earned that moniker. Now, I'm not saying I'm the greatest player today. All right, I'm not saying that. I want a chance to prove I am. And you and I have a separate side bet on that. And I'll actually start playing with these guys who I really haven't played with much in the last five years. But I, how do you respond on those three things? Greatest poker tournament player of all time, greatest player of all time, and the third one. What was the third one again? Greatest player today. Okay, so I'm glad to hear you uh, change your tune a little bit, because I heard you in interviews recently say, I am the, great, the best poker player in the world today, right? Which now you're saying possibly, but not for sure, which is good, which is good. Um, as far as like, you know, greatest tournament player of the year, I've said and I've always said that your record at the World Series of Poker is unmatched, unparalleled, right? You are clearly track record wise of the World Series of Poker, best ever. Now there's a whole new major league of tournament poker today that exists where all the big players that, you know, see the big money there, they go and play. Like during your era, Doyle was and Chip were not playing all the tournaments because they were playing big cash games. Today, there was a whole new circuit of major events, 25K and above, that you've never not once had a top three finish in, in any of these No Limit Hold'em tournaments. Not once. Zero, right? Well, I have... Absolutely not. Me, let me but just, you, had, you have exactly like zero top threes, which, is, which, is, which is kind of significant, right? Because, let me respond. Uh, but hold on. I didn't, I didn't stop, Continue. right? Yeah, because you asked me. Yeah, right? but if you're lying, I have to call you But out I didn't lie, <laughs> because I'm not, ta I'm, not, I'm not talking mixed games. I'm saying No Limit Hold'em, 25K buy-in tournaments. Okay. You're, I actually wanted to commend you on your mixed game Continue. play, because I think it's very, very good. Well, I think yeah, because play. I just finished second and third in the last five World Series tournaments that we've held in the real world in mixed games. So yeah, maybe you might want to compliment me there. I don't know. I said you've come a long way because you uh -huh. used to be very, very bad, and now you're quite good. Uh -huh. I actually like your game in mixed games uh -huh. a lot better than your Nolan Golden game. And we're going to see today, and you're going to have a, you're going to get to experience and feel a little bit of what it's like to play against somebody who's well prepared. That's what you're going to see today. So Daniel, so. Do you deny, because I mean I can prove it pretty quickly, do you deny that I've won 20 out of my last 22 matches against professional poker players in the I don't format? know, Phil. I mean, you come up with numbers all the time. I don't you know. You think I'm making Before, it up? Well, it was 80 out I've of 90. I've won four belts. It was 80 out of 82, and then it was 18 out of 20, and it's it 20, was not. It's 23. Now you're lying. It's 10 million here. Daniel, the there. politician. Whatever. The I don't grandier. care, bro. Guys. You're, what, yeah. Well, only because we're a little bit strapped for time. I hate to, to yeah. climb between you guys. I do have a few sort of questions. So Nick, I don't just, stop us. This is the good stuff. I know it but is. I have well, a don't bone don't to do me like that. Next. They're telling me to... to you I know have I mean? a bone okay, to pick let's... with you next. Okay, so okay. I'm a little bit pissed off because I have won 20 out of my last stand? 22 I mean, matches. I'm going to stand, stand up because I'm up, pissed off. You've got the belt now? What do you think? You told me you won't interrupt me. I'm sorry. I won't. All right. So listen, I just want to say this. I'm playing and I'm watching the commentary. After nine hours of playing with Antonio, I feel like I'm completely in his head, which, is, which most people can't experience in life. I limp in with King-10 mm -hmm. for one big blind. He raised with King-Queen. I fold it. I limp with King-Jack. He raised with King-Queen. 
For one big blind, I fold it. Then I call off 44 big blinds with ace, 10 of diamonds. Mm -hmm. What does that tell you? To me, that's apex predator shit, bro. I can save one big blind with king, 10 against king, jack. I can save one big blind you know, in these two amazing spots, and then I mm. call off 44 big blinds with, you didn't like any of those plays, and to me this is white magic, apex predator shit, King Kong shit. What do you have to say? Respect, <laughs> respect to, to all of that. I don't remember you limping and then folding to one big blind with King Jack Preet. I did. Uh, no, I you didn't. I don't think you did. You didn't, you wanna bet on that? I limped with King Ten. Let's bet on that. I'll bet you one hundred thousand dollars. You did not do that. I just don't remember. Maybe those I misspoke. Well. What I'm oh, trying well, to that's say. What I, but this is what you do. You misspoke. You misspeak all the time. Right, and then when this I challenge is not you, you, Daniel. But when I challenge you to bet money, up, you always go. Oh, 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 you oh, oh, fuck up. Let's go. You're a man. lying yes. politician. No, oh, you my just God. said you're a lying politician. You just went on a rant saying you limp. You're limp to one big blind. It never happened once. None of the things you just said. Never happened once. Go on. Go on, please. This is not you, I'm talking to Nick. I limped in with King 10 for one big blind, Antonio raised and I folded. Okay. Sorry, I limped in with King Jack. Antonio raised and I folded. I lost one big blind with King 10 against King Queen and one big blind with King Jack against King Queen. And then I put in 44 big blinds in a quarter of a second with Ace 10 of diamonds. To me, this is apex predator shit. But this I is knowing that my opponent somehow just has me crushed. You insulted all three plays. I wouldn't say I insulted the plays. They're plays I wouldn't make. You know, I have to be on it. Well, maybe not the ace ten, but like limp folding. No King one Jack makes Preet. those plays. But so I'm the first. So did I hear you? So did I hear the, you Hang say? on a second, but Phil, I'm the first to say perhaps there's things he understands that I don't, or what I. But you I, know didn't what hear I mean, you I don't take before. away from why I've said it a million. You said times. it a million times. You know, of you course. You stay out of this shit. No, I don't have to no, stay out. But I you want to go, son? So you want to make mean. this a real rumble? Yeah, listen. I mean, he's got freaking reach, height, listen, listen, weight. Yeah, probe. I, listen. Declined, right I declined here. a real dark <laughs> boxing match because I thought I'd knock you no, out I and try, I thought I'd look I, bad. I, I, you know, I, I hear what you're saying, Phil. I do. Thank of, you. Of course, of course, you're making high-level reads in there based on the people you're playing. You know, I'm not, but if there's a play I wouldn't make, it's... I try not to say what I would do too much in there, but you know what I mean? Limp folding King Jack Pre, playing heads no up. No one Phil, does that, and no one cards. should be taught to do that. But, but I was so far in Antonio's head that I suspected I was in bad shape and made a tight fold. I know. I would have thought Jack, you would have been jumping up and down, <laughs> going, oh my God, that's one of the best plays I've ever seen in heads up because I wasn't I did taught that, that a lot. and I, I don't that. believe I, that. I said that a lot, you know? I mean, uh, well, I, yeah, I, because I made like 12 folds no one else would have made it on the turn of the river, sure. You're anyway, I'm pissed off. You got any questions, Nick? I do have a few <laughs> questions, but I mean, okay. okay, Daniel, why do you think you're a dollar fifty favorite in the market? He just beat Antonio a few times in a row. Um, why do you think that is? Yeah, I think it's, I think I'm better than one fifty, and I put my money where my mouth is because I actually made some substantial side bets. And you normally, obviously, in a sit and go format, that's a really big price. You can't lay that, right? But I have a, the perfect opponent here, right? Who I can use a hybrid of game theory adaptable with some exploitative plays that I think I'm best suited to pick him apart where um, you know, I feel like if we were gonna play this match 10 times, I win seven maybe. I, I win about six and a half to seven I think. So that puts me at a you know, better than three to two in my mind, right? And we shall see. And after this match, I think more people are gonna see and understand why I feel so strongly about that. Yeah, Antonio told me it was two to one favorite before our match too. And then before the second match, he also said he was a favorite. I'm not Antonio. Yeah, I know you're not Antonio, Dan. Okay, just saying. <laughs> yeah. I have, a, I have a question for you, Phil. You said you were a little disappointed in, in Daniel's play against Doug, but then you sort of said that you didn't watch a lot of it. But Any. Can you expound on that at all? Kind of what yeah, you were saying? Yeah, it was very clear. I've done it, said it in several interviews. The funny thing to me is if you ding Daniel on one small thing, then he just attacks with like all of his might. Like he's, he's, you talk about sensitive, he's crazy sensitive. And so he just, it's important to him that, you know. So, so all I said was, I, I got the reports from Mike Matisau, you know, <laughs> five or six times a week. <laughs> you guys can laugh at the No, source. no, no, I gotta know, I and love Mike, go and on. Mike and I had, Mike and I both had, we both thought that we knew what Daniel's strengths and weaknesses were after a lifetime of playing with him. And we both felt like some of his weaknesses were uh, exposed. And we were both like, wow. And I just think that Daniel's so talented and so great at poker that he should have stuck to his, he should have let his talent shine more than just let the math shine. But the here's the problem, math. right? When you, make an, when you make a claim like that, right? You say, listen, I don't like the way he played. 
I didn't watch a single hand of it. I don't know how he played. I got second-hand information from the reliable Mike Mattisell. Then to make a claim saying, I didn't like how he played is just weird. So, so for the record, because I think a lot of people say like, oh, you know, he, the only reason this match happened was because, you know, he said that. I was like, okay, Phil, you didn't like the way I played. I will play the same way as I did there, and you get a chance to expose it and beat it in all the ways that you believe you can, and that's why we're here. The politician wow. is telling the truth. Wow. I mean, how do you think you would have done against Doug in a similar kind of 25K match? Well, I don't, I don't think I could, could have competed against him at two tables. Let's say one, 25,000 hands online. I don't know. I texted him and challenged him and said, hey, let's do it. And uh, he said he's a little tired, maybe later. Um, I played him heads up in this format and won pretty easily. He'll tell you that. He also made an amazing lay down against me that's been circulated all over poker. <laughs> when you went Dunkin' Donuts on the Jack 8-9? What was the story with that one, by the way? I give <laughs> Doug, I give Doug Polk <laughs> massive credit. But yeah, I'd, I'll play him online, uh, one hand one, at one table. But and if, I'll do stuff that makes sense to me that doesn't make sense sure, to, but if to you anybody play, else. If you played him 25,000 hands, do you think you'd beat him? Play him one table online? I th I, well, see, listen, if I tell you what I really think, I won't get laid 10 to 1. Right now I can get laid 10 to 1 on this I don't match. think that's true. I don't think that what you really think would affect the odds, frankly. No, no, no. no I, Nick, you're I, right I there, Nick. <laughs> I mean, okay. but do you think you'd be? No, but I mean, I'm just saying, like, if you, we all I know that you. I can't respond, but I mean, I, I think it would be fun. Fair enough. I mean, do you, I think how do you can, think he would have done? Well, so I think he's, the reason he says he can't respond is because Phil really thinks he's going to win. He would win, right? That's why. So he, but if he says that, it comes off wrong, and then I'll use it against him. He doesn't want to do that, right? How do I think Phil will do? I think Phil will get... So here's what, you know, what Doug did very, very well was data, you know, analyze data, right? And over 25,000 hands, a lot of the things Phil does that he does very, very well that exploits people, right? If you can take pen and paper, you know, if you, you can take a, a look at that and say, okay, well... Phil is doing this here and here, and then find ways to really counter that. I think he's got a lot more experience, Doug does, at, that for, at doing that than Phil has. Because Phil's never really played a munch online, right, as much as he has, right? So a lot of what Phil would do would, I think, be exposed over the long run. And, you know, Phil could always change his game, too. No but, shit. But, all, but, but ultimately, I think that there are tendencies that would... Uh... I mean, you act like... I mean, you, act like you, you know this match we're going to play right now? I have no idea what I'm going to do right now. I do. I know, oh, good for you. <laughs> I know exactly what you're going to do. I plan to pitch a shutout in this match. Like a an shutout? absolute, mm -hmm. I'm going to pitch a perfect game where when you have it, I'm going to fold. And when you don't have it, I'm going to snap. That's what's going to happen here. It will be a landslide victory coming my way. Guys, I mean. I'm I don't, <laughs> uh, but I will say this before he was interrupted me. I don't know what I'm going to do. So that's what I love about this. I don't play my cards in these heads-up matches. I always play the player. That's all I do. And I might limp every single hand of this match, and I might raise 100% of the pots, depending on what I think will work against Daniel. Generally speaking, though, uh, Daniel... Just saying, if he limps, I'm ready. I got a sheet right here against his limping strategy. I'm uh -oh. going to do the orange, I'm going to do the green, and I'm going to do the blue, and I'm going to do the blue. Nick, and, yeah. Nick, it sounds like the match is over. Maybe we shouldn't play. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should there just you go, Phil. Daniel. You can have this. It's Maybe fine. Maybe we should just Guys, give Daniel the belt. For you. I, I want to, you know, <laughs> I, I could sit here with you two all day. It's really, it's... Maybe we should just uh, give you the belt already, Daniel. Maybe we don't need to play. Time to wrap it up. I think it's time to play some cards. I mean, gentlemen, any final sort of words before we get going? Daniel? Good luck, buddy. Daniel is one of the all-time, <laughs> Daniel is one of the all-time greats in, the, in poker, 100%. And I've always had a tremendous amount of respect for him. And I think he's one of the most talented, you know, maybe top five talented poker players on the planet. So I think it's going to be a big challenge and a lot of fun. Well, I just, I, it, it, I mean, I, I remember the first time I watched poker on TV, it was this guy. I was 16 years old, and I see him win the World Series of Poker, inspired me to get out here. And now I get the opportunity to take down the guy that I watched growing up. So I'm excited about it. What is this, velvet, Ben? Nice, right? Oh. I like that, nah. Boys, I gotta, good luck. gotta dress I mean, up for the man. Guys, you know, saddle up. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Like only defend a few times. Well, clean Jack off now. He's checking it out. Yeah, yeah. a three bet yeah, to twenty-two thousand, and Antonio already suspects that perhaps he's a hot under right. the collar. Oh wow! With the ten-eight, 
He defends against the three bet in position top pair and a gut shot straight draw up against the open end or buckle up. And I think we absolutely put chips in here for Antonio just because this board kind of hits that raise call the three bet range hard. Helmuth has ace king, ace queen, right. ace jack. Yeah, maybe he's not, it's not his style kind of with those hands, but nonetheless, 26K from Antonio I really like. Helmuth with the patented cut the call out and then think things over. He does come with the call. Check. Pot up to 96,000 for hearts. Has no impact. This street is a bit weirder because Helmuth can go with something like check call with king king, uh, etc. Sort of his style. Now maybe we can check. I think we mix here. Go with a little bit of check, a little bit of bet. Looks like he's coming with bet. Nice sniff from Antonio. And again, in context, comes with roughly a third. there's this sense that perhaps Phil is playing straight oh. forward oh. and isn't in this range of the deck with that preflop three bet, or maybe he's steamy. Yeah, I wouldn't say straight forward because he, I do think he can still have over pairs. And what a great result for Antonio. I mean, disappointing run out for the Queen Jack, by the way. There was some real promise to that holding. Jack. And Antonio's worried. Yeah, after he had two barrels get called yeah, here, he shuts it down. I, I think he thought it was good. But, Jacks but are he, better he, maybe he knows, out there. Well, he knows Phil can roll kings over oh, there wow. easily. And eight, I was going to fire the whole thing, too. Woo! Seven, five. Button limp from Phil. Antonio says run it. Two hearts, two sixes, and a deuce, which connects with Antonio for the best holding. He leads, or does he check? I think he bet this. Yeah. Phil making the call. Antonio now full on the turn. And Helmuth just peeling here in position with it's that 7-5, straddling one of those sixes. Yeah, it's reasonable, the straddle. He's, he's got clear outs to be open-ended. He has a heart kind of card that he can bluff. But now... I think 61. We're done, but he's coming oh. with 61, Ali, and... Six is full of deuces here is quite strong. Just when you look at the entire scope of Helmuth's range, it's awkward, of course, but and you know what, Hel what really is Helmuth supposed to have here? It's well, we know he traps sometimes when he limps course. on the button, but I don't think that on this texture he would stand up with the raise now. Yeah, I think I, I, he would simply call and then maybe on the river. I agree, and wow, and and it's nice to have outs in in this life. So barf bag to the main game. Six <laughs> is full of fives, and I mean, we have echoed fortune favors the brave before, but this is this is really a, a an out there kind of line from Helmuth, and what a sweet sight that river is, and and we have to go for value here, not just because six is full of fives or mostly good but just the embarrassment but we have to kind of bet and hope he folds this so we don't have to show this one down 100k i'm not sh i think sizing wise we really want to target the duck and i would be kind of content going 32. smaller i like this I, I like this bet where the duck just kind of has to call i really like that size five. actually me. I got a fight. Oh. Are you kidding me? You want to talk about luck? How lucky are you, buddy? You hit the five on five seven on me also. Yeah. Same same side pot. Yeah. I need you to keep I need you to keep putting in ten thousand with ace high. Okay. No problem. I can't let you barrel the one. third one. You win the pot. Give it the third one. Give it what it deserves. Yeah, I should have barreled the third. I'm not sure the third barrel gets it done. That was a mistake. Yeah. Raise to 1100. Call. Call. Helmuth defends with a suited baby ace. Check. check. More dark checking. And his turn to look up at a paired board with ace high. 1800. Snap, check, raise, three Xing.
Antonio right. just does not go away a lot of the time. Well, he's in position, and you know. Position's valuable. Listen, I mean, it is. Um, but this, of course, speaks for itself. Got 32. a straight draw picked up, courtesy of the 7. Asai is still the best hand and still barreling here. And, I mean, listen, if you want to tell the tale, if you're Antonio, having outs is lovely. He has some now. I think it's time. Can't wait too long with just 8 high. Eleven thousand Might we have some otherworldly sniff here, Ali? I mean, ace high is, beats all of the nonsense. Well, Antonio has declared but I have a jack. Twenty-nine thousand. Oh wow. my! You know, I. Wow. I did feel like perhaps the cape was going to be donned here. Do we have any duality of capes here? Because I mean. He hasn't folded yet, Ali. There's a little bit of street poker out here in the desert right now, buddy. I mean, if Antonio piles, uh, pre I think, pre, I think pi I leave pre the booth. pile, we're still in the street. Yeah, me too. Is he calling? Oh. Wow, what a hand! Whoa. I right, check in the dark. 63,800 wow. and wow. a dark check wow. as Helmuth hits the ace. Terrific card for him. All in. And Antonio. Well, of course. Very yeah. nonchalantly says all in. Cannot win the pot with eight high. Of course. By the way, that nonchalance that you just alluded to uh, is something. I mean, he, he did it pretty, pretty smoothly, but I mean, I think That's if we're Phil at this point. I think we, listen, it's not that easy when you're out there, you know. I mean, this is, this is just really an incredible hand that, that this is will, for be, the match. will be rewatched again. Yeah, of course. I mean. In Helmut's mind, you're Kyle, wrong, you're done. Yeah, a little bit bravo to both guys. I mean, they, they, they both sort of sniffed it out. And you said it what feels like a long while back. Ali position. He is in position. And there are some. Benefits to being in position. I call. And he does wow. call. Wow. Bravo, Phil. Wow. God, you're just so... It's unbelievable. 30,000, 32,000. Wow. 34,000, 25. Yes! Wow. I was moving in if the ace doesn't come. 31? I had you on 5-6. I had you on five, some kind of straight draw, and I'm, I got a call. You're a genius when you see the cards. I haven't seen your hand. Uh, you, I, I, you called and I had nothing. Well, what do you think I had? You sucked out all those hands, and you're unlucky. That's all right. You'll get it in dead again in about seven minutes. These guys would make a great pair of assisted living roommates. <laughs> <laughs> when they just... Set them on down to Shady Acres in their 90s. And just cut them loose with a deck. I like it, Ollie. Oh, 7 8 turns into bottom two up against just a bottom pair. 25. Pretty dire straights here for Antonio. 0.3%, not the best. Deuce would be disaster. Oh, boy. Oh, God. I, I had no idea. That's really sick for Esfandiari. Could be sick in the form of a rap. I mean... Well, he's not covered, but certainly he could be dealt... You're right. Stack wraps. I mean... 6,500? Because it's the kind of hand that seeks protection. It seeks value against top pair. Or, you know, occasionally ace-ace. Obviously, you know, inflating the pot versus all of those draws yep. at the moment is a good thing. I think we can definitely check call, but right. yeah. I get it. I mean, this makes sense. And if Phil continues with some outward display of aggression like all in, uh, he, he's counterbalanced there by many draws that are possible in theory, whether he takes that line or not, we don't know. But bottom two, I don't think there's any getting away, Ali. This it, could be really a brutal listen. cooler for Antonio. Uh, if Phil comes with the two little words here, it's going to be a sinking okay. feeling. 57,000? It does. Mm -hmm. Not the all-in, but 57. 
It's basically the same thing, Ollie. Yeah. And, uh, it beckons for the whole enchilada, doesn't it? Kind of cool how Phil didn't jam to maybe creating the illusion a little bit that he could even have just zero. Oh my god, how can I possibly fold this? Are you really this lucky? I wish I was good enough, but I'm not. Ten seconds. All in. You have two pair? Yeah, sevens and eights. Oh, you're so lucky, man. I knew what you had both times. How lucky can you be? If I win, I have 81,000. It's just unreal. Why can't I just fold? I know you have it. Gosh, you really are not a human being. Uh, 81. 81. Nice hand, Phil. Yeah, it's 81, just to double check. Yeah. Nice hand. Thanks. Just like that. I can't do it, Dad. There's just nothing I can do. You know? Some guys can do it. Some guys can't. I just can't do it against Helmuth. You still jammed in your stack. You still well, jammed in like 50 lines or 10 eggs from previous. You can make two pair with no straights, no flushes on the board. The yeah. board was six, seven, nine, was four, seven, eight, eight. ace. Yeah, I understand. And I folded sixes and fours. It was impossible. Seven, Correct. Four. You always fold. Sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong. So you um, want to get credit for folding correctly luck. one time early on? Sure. Well, I want to see you get two pair versus two pair late in the match. There's Antonio drawing dead, like clockwork. <laughs> <laughs> Ran Somehow, away in the pair in a flush in a draw pot. up yeah, against an eight high flush draw. He's just done, and it's interesting. I mean, Phil, Antonio limped earlier, and Phil two and a half X tip from the big blind out of position with Jack eight suited. Now we have Jack nine suited, and we continue the limping trend. But it is at a point. Being in position is better. Jack nine's better than Jack eight is. <laughs> Oh, we have a check raise from Antonio. Sure, flush draw. Going to raise some of them. He chooses this one with the duck in it. I mean, can't really fault it too much. And this three bet from Phil, well done. I mean, Antonio is, is literally drawing all but dead. And my oh, God, man. no. It just comes in. Kind of hate to see it, you know. I think it'll go check call, check call in all likelihood. Barring fourth diamond or pair, only eight high, he has to fear the bigger stuff. But it really is so cold, ice cold watching this now, Ali. It's not going to go check call because he's leading straight away. So who's been luckier again? Yeah. And for Antonio to flat the three bet from Phil and then lead here certainly feels like it narrows his range considerably into... Oh. A lot of flushes. But of course, with Phil blocking those flushes, he should feel pretty darn comfortable that the Jack High Diamonds are, are the winner. I mean, only King High Diamonds beat him. If Antonio bets big here, this is a mandatory shove from Phil. Forgive the obvious, but. How much? 33,800. Pot of the match. If anybody could just call here, it's him. But as you said, you just beat all of those little flushes. You only fall to the king high. Well, say what you need to say now, Nick, because as soon as this call gets made, we won't be talking for a while. I think it's going to be a raise, of course. I mean, this speaks for itself. It's just hard to watch a cooler like this. Raise 40,000. Raise 40 more on top. I think Antonio's soul just left his body. I mean, it, it's so brutal. It's so I mean, painful. That's pretty special. That 10 really doesn't change a whole lot. Phil's never doing this with just a king, is he? That would be pretty special. You got the king high flush, huh? I mean, I just can't beat you, Phil. 10 seconds. All right. All right. I don't think so, Ali, but you, you just have to call. I think I have a jack high flush. Yep. You really are. Really are. Nice hand. Nice hand. Pretty weird, Ollie. Guess I should have just folded it. Mm, it's tough. Why can't I just fold? 
<laughs> For eternity, Phil will hold over Antonio as the first round winner. Phil Hellmuth defeating Antonio Esfandiari in round two of the high stakes duel. One thing this man does is end up with the chips, and we can add this one to the resume. My prediction for the match is it's going to be very frustrating for Phil. So one thing you and I agree on for sure, either I'm way behind the curve and I don't know it, or I'm so far ahead of the curve that you don't understand it. If you look up the definition of a duel, it is a contest with deadly weapons arranged between two people in order to settle a point of honor. And in this case, that point of honor will be settled inside the Poker Go studio at Aria Resort and Casino. Welcome to High Stakes Duel 2. Ali Najad alongside Nick Shulman and feast your eyes on those two legends, Phil Helmuth and Daniel Negreanu, squaring off. More World Series of Poker bracelets than any player in history. 15 of them, to be exact, for Phil Helmuth Jr. And for Daniel Negreanu, how about 42 million plus in career tournament earnings, third on the all-time money list. There is the belt that belongs to Phil Helmuth as he defeated Antonio Esfandiari in the first edition of the High Stakes Duel. Three consecutive games. Unfamiliar with our format? Let's get a look. It is heads up, no limit hold'em with 30 minute levels. The winner stays and the loser has an option to challenge. $50,000 ahead in this 100K match, the first of up to three. If the loser declines, a challenger seat is open for up to 30 days. and. The rules on whether or not you can cash out depend on the number of rounds won. We'll start with this very first one. And Nick, during the hype show earlier, you and I were discussing. Luck, All right, before picks. we start, Daniel, let okay. me f finish the rest of my uh, brain fuel. Brain, okay. All right, this is a 10, This uh, it spreads caffeine over 10 hours. Interesting. Which is really cool, so you don't have any highs and lows. Okay, Phil. Phil always doing the thing. You took Phil Helmuth. Well, you did that. I got some studying I took to Daniel. do. That's chapter six. Promote, promote, promote. <laughs> when in doubt. And then there's pictures of Bill Clinton. Okay. Oh, look at that. Man, you know a lot of celebrities. Nice pictures of Tiger. <laughs> Tiger. By boy. the way, Daniel. Yeah? We can use another spokesperson okay. for Brainfield, Daniel. Well, Check not right now. Out. I don't know. You might, you might spike it with something that gets me all no, messed up. No, you don't up. have to drink it now, but we could use another spokesperson. I, I don't think there's look. any animal oh, products in there. It looks good. I'll, and I'll it's take 110 a calories. But a caffeine might make me crazy now, so maybe I'll do it another time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I don't expect yeah. it now. I took a little swig of the Brainfield okay. during the hype show, and yeah, uh, right. I saw that. <laughs> Bill's limping strategy. I left it at a little swig. button, limp ace queen, and they'll raise, and you can re-raise and flop the nuts. Okay. So just limp fold when you have king jack and they have king ten. <laughs> Got it. When, when they have king queen and you have king jack, limp fold. Fuck, this is good stuff. <laughs> I'm ready. You can deal. <laughs> oh, you did deal. <laughs> it's up to you, Phil. I call. Quick you know, note that I will check. Everyone in the studio, I'll tell you including what, Phil, Nick I and this myself. From you from the last one. Check in the dark. <laughs> Woo! We're rapid we PCR learning. tested they for make COVID. Fun of me for that. Check in Came the dark. Ne negative. That's why we are able to play without plexi this. or masks. Check in the, the dark again. Eight six I'm not checking. Five. Two hundred. Two hundred. Helmy turns the club draw. Daniel ahead with the four. Call. Oh boy, he's got me already. Well, Lines are fifty one hundred with no anti yesnik. Check. No, I was just going to say fours. it's nice to be here. Good. Here we are. Two pair aces. Four is good. Got a ton of flush draw. Huh? <laughs> here we are. I mean, it's on, dude. Dude, Daniel said he is going to pitch a shot. I understand. Right. Uh, I needed a five on the turn. <laughs> and so, oh my God. I mean, what was it five like being the out there during that way? Straight there? Yeah. Uh, oof. And I get two Spicy. pair. We, you might have ended it right in the first hand. No, no, no. But two pair? Nah, you, you would have lost 6,000 max. Max. Oof, I don't know. Two pair is hard to make. You know. All right, maybe 8,000. <laughs> <laughs> Felt a little beefy. Yeah. I mean, it was a lot. Maybe 8,000. 250? Uh, let's just let them settle in. 650. Okay. 
Oh my god. <laughs> it's Negreanu with the bullets. Well, hello. The three betting, huh? You didn't do that much against oh, Antonio. Oh, Elmius with king queen. This could be trouble early. Negreanu has to feel like this is almost spiritually correct. Like all this work he's been doing, he has aces, Helmuth is three batting him. Here we go. Oh, is he reaching a little deep? King Queen offsuit is not a Helmuth kind of hand, but let's see. I mean, this is jockeying, though. At least it's what it's going to feel like. Yeah, it's jockeying, but it's also an awkward spot. I think we continue and kind of well, hate it. I guess I can fold the best hand. Huh? Good for him. You did not have the best hand. You did not have the best hand. You had two undercards. No. Yes! Aces. Oh That's how I played, Phil. Pocket aces. Three bet and the king queen. Look at you getting out there. Wow. You must have got some coaching or something. Bravo. I have Phil. not talked to anyone <laughs> you got, about so who, who coached you? Who coached you to three bet king queen? That's Nobody messed up. Nobody coached me. You got, you got a coach. I will tell you something. Something seemed wrong. Uh -huh. That's why I three bet it. Something was wrong. You had aces. <laughs> yeah, it sure was. <laughs> oh, but you're right. Did you see me three bet Antonio once in the entire match? Well, a couple times. Like twice, right? Hmm. Why validate the lot. fold yeah. by wasn't showing the aces? It just yeah. something felt wrong. The wrong was you had the, you had, you, you, I had you read as the nothing, you had the yeah. nutting. Yeah, I had, yeah, I had. The nut thing. Yeah, I like, the goods. I'm not into that. Raise it up, make it 300. What? Make it, make he's, got, he's got a coach. <laughs> Phil's been on, what do you mean, JonathanLittle.com or something? <laughs> no one coached me, Daniel. No <laughs> one coached me. This guy me. went and got some freaking range charts and learned how to raise before the flop. Oh my God, we got a new Phil Helmuth in the business. It's so funny. I, think I told there's... you before this match started, I had no idea how I was going to play. Look at you. You got a coach. I think there's a little bit of nerves right now for both of them. They're going to settle right in. And there it is. I mean, look at these guys. Illustrious resumes, to say the least. Advantage in winnings obviously goes to Daniel, but the live caches and the bracelets in favor of Helmuth. 148 of those caches coming in the World Series of Poker, where he does his damage. He's one of the boys of summer, Helmuth is. Don't give me, I mean, I think he's a great player. Yeah. I think. Oh, this one I'm going to. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Check. You might as well bet in the dark, Daniel. Well, I don't play like that. Come on, you know better than that. Check. He checked in the dark? Yes, sir. All right, I'm also going to check. Check. What? Yeah. I mean, you got to try to You're steal only going to get 61%. Pot. All right, he checked. I'm also going to check. Oh, queen slides in, giving okay. Negreanu top pair. He checks, and now it's trip queens. Check. Will king high pay? It's a good question, Ali. I mean, feels like a hand that could be good here. It could be good. It feels like the dust might bet before this, but he was reaching. Let's see. Oh, no. Is, is he going to be tempted to check raise this? 1750? Oh, do it, Phil. It's not, I call. Not you win. I know. All right. Good. 1750. <laughs> <laughs> yep, okay. Fair deuces or three queens, you know. Nice. With Daniel giving him a little subtle needle. Winner, Negranu. I don't think I lost the pot yet. Phil getting weird off the bat. Let's see. Good start. I'll tell you what, Daniel. Philly over there trying to rob me. Looking to yeah, get sub I raised you and twice you had like the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I play. Nuts. It was a good check on the turn. I thought yeah. you had an ace eight high. Yeah. I know you're going to raise with a huge range of pots, hands. So yeah, eighty percent of the hands. That's a lot of hands. Queen four is one of them. I know. Shouldn't have got so fancy. I should have just called. The king you're high. Gonna, you're going to bluff with ten high and eight high all the time. Phil getting fancy. Hey, we're just getting warmed up, man. This is like a feeler. Yeah. Right now we're feeling, you know? I will check. Phil limping the 8-5 offsuit. Another queen four for Daniel. He checks back. Okay. Check. And check. flops top pair on a familiar looking board. Tell me with the five of hearts, sort of whatever. Okay, here we go. Quick check call of 250. Check. Now an open ender added to the mix as Helmuth makes second pair. Well, 
I apologize. Sure. The, the flop bet Seven. was 100. The <laughs> turn bet Seven. Seven. 250. Good, yeah. Sort of pseudo value from Phil. Check. 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 Queen. Good. Okay, winner. Got queen four again. Wow, I'm glad he's out here. Just, I feel he's just robbing every No, game. I was betting the river. Betting the wow. river with what? Well, you didn't. Yeah, because I can't beat a, th I can't beat a three <laughs> and a deuce anymore. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like a five. Oh, no, no, not a ace high. I think a five beats a deuce. No, better than an ace, obviously. We got new theme music up in this. <laughs> I mean, there it is. It, it could escalate to an obscene amount. We don't know. But the duel is a cool format, Ali. There are some guys waiting in the wings who don't necessarily want to step into the yeah, arena some people until with no the seven-figure you know. numbers start to by, come by up. The, by the way, I just want to say I held the belt. It, got, it has a lot of weight on it, a very quality belt. So bravo, you know, whoever made that. It's early, guys. The blinds are small. Let's see. Here we go. There's no shortage well, of I'd things in the post-COVID world that have a lot of weight on them, <laughs> me, yeah. myself okay. included. He's on the shuffler vibe. 2.5x here from Negreanu, 9.7 off suit button. The ducks for Phil. He's in. I'll check. The dark check. And Deuce is still good. Got the gutty, the seven of diamonds, key card. He checks back. I mean, sure. Decent card Phil, on the turn. You're going to win your first pot. Congratulations. And indeed, Helmuth. Yes. That's my first, first hand, really? It seems like yeah. a fair. <laughs> queen four, queen four, pocket aces, and what else? I'll leave the jacket is off. I kind of liked it. There was a right. kind of a Lucifer chic element yeah. to the red velvet. And now it the had match has begun. Okay. Comfortable? It had mischievous undertones. Yeah. I don't know if you win every pot, I might just tilt. Oh boy, it. here we go. Where's oh. the burger? No burger today? No. Burger with some Sour Patch Kids? <laughs> I have this chicken thing. You know, I meant no. to bring Twizzlers today. Please don't that, step that away. Oh. Oh. He's really oh really oh going and really dying in the booth. <laughs> they couldn't take it. I can't <laughs> take it. I... It's so cold we had to wear a mask. No, chew, playing, swallow, so speak, Philip. So I wouldn't have to take my mask up. <clears throat> It hits me hard just because, you know, it's to eat on camera is one thing, but the way he aggressively attacks, <laughs> we know Negranu just, oh, he does three bet, okay. Nice jack. As Jordan King talk 10, about a pretty good hand. Ah, Here we go. Get normal poker. Three bet pot, heads Open, up, let's go. Three bets. Let's see. Gut shot straight draw on the queen high rainbow board for Helmuth, who is behind the ace high. And let's see how Negreanu navigates. Check. Very prepared player. Comes with a check. I like this from Phil. I mean, some sort of aggression Take is good. Down, Daniel's wow. out. Interesting. Negreanu not looking to bloat it unimproved on the flop. And if you're wondering Had a decent hand. where that first bite went, straight down the hatch in short yeah. order. 56 years old. Kind of hard for me to believe, Nick. I've known Phil now for almost 20 well, years. Well, it makes sense, you know. Wisconsin, Madison, a couple of kids, 15 WSOP bracelets. Think on it for a second. Take some time to put that together. You know what I mean? Like 15 clear Ws. Would I get two of these? I think so, right? Fold, Phil. That's fold number one. Count it. Where's, where's someone I need to know this? What's that? Paul, how does it work with the belt? So each time a match ends, someone wins a belt? No, there's only one belt, I think. Yeah, one a player is eligible to cast on the yeah. yeah, but so they only had one belt made? Because this has my name, this, my name's laminated on it. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. Well, we could delaminate that if needed, right? <laughs> wow, delamination, I mean. Oh, I have Phil earned that belt against Antonio. Maybe there's new belts. You know, I don't know, but he's a champ right now, clearly. Check. Check. We have a limp check. I have a good feeling about this. Man. I feel like I'm going to beat you for 1,200. 1,200? 1, yeah. 1, That's easy, not easy to do, is it? Mm. 
Check. Well, Queen 10 has been out flopped as Daniel's got bottom pair facing 125 chip C bet in the limp pot pre. He check calls. Mm -hmm. I can't tell if you're smooth calling with the jack, a six or a four. Check. Option or C. A straight draw. There's a lot of those too. Two quick checks on the turn after the board pair. Check. I don't think I can beat any of the hands I named. <laughs> you can't. I got a four. <laughs> <laughs> I can't beat any of those hands that I named. Yeah. Especially when the five. I started there. really good though. Yeah. Yeah. I was trapping. Trappy, trappy. The belt is mine. The belt is yours. Okay. So you, so Daniel, this is a cool looking belt. That's going to be big on They you. just, they literally just handed this to me uh, before this match. So I guess this is for beating Antonio. Well, yeah, you crushed him. So oh, that's great. If you that's and I great. play, so I keep this even if you end up beating me. I okay. said this before, but a lot of weight <laughs> on it felt good. Another trophy. <laughs> they, oh, you love poker. I love it. All I, I can say it. is poker goes spent a, a fair amount on that belt because it was nice. You know what I mean? Like I threw it over my shoulder. Mm. Felt good. I felt like the champ. Ollie. H here's the thing with the belts. Right? I will check. You can't rock the belt. No, I mean, we're not wearing it out to get coffee. I mean, but the belt but was quality. But tell me if anybody would. He, he might wear it around town, <laughs> but the belt felt good. Check from like Helmuth. King high. Like a one, I 125 stab. Nine high doesn't feel so good. You could have seven high. I could beat seven high. Yeah, Some posturing. High. Some jockeying. End of the day, they are playing heads up. You know, they're 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 sort of shooting the breeze, so to speak. Choices, but choices. Every hand presents a choice. It's yeah. a match. And they're super deep. So if I theoretically read you on queen it, high, then I should have theoretically made it. You said king high. Exactly. They're going to ease yeah, in thinking, you know. to a real. Well, I had queen match. high, but you you know I had something. I had queen high. There it is. Yeah, you felt hand. like you felt like I came ace ace ten. I have to bet since I raised the ball. But, but Negreanu yeah. is... Most likely I thought king high or queen high. He's you a know. challenger. Right. This isn't a tomato can they threw out there. No, no. This is a very prepared heads up player who's, who's looking to get it done. So let's see. Let me through queen 4-0. Call. Comes with the limp. Grano shoots it up, a 10-7 suited, short, I mean. beautiful <laughs> hand, he's in. <laughs> oh, the under, right? oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of player would I be? Snap defend from Phil, who binks a four up against a 10 high flush draw. Right, some continuation will ensue. Yeah, Grano is c-betting 400 into six, two-thirds pot. Fours with the queen, the queen of Nine clubs, seven. no less. He does shoot it up, and, and of course, Negreanu has a continue in some capacity. Let's see. <laughs> okay. The deuce is repable in a, in a limped pot. Kind of Negreanu's sort of behaviorally. <laughs> He's a little spooked, but here we go, king. Called the extra 550 as Helmuth made it 950 total. The turn helps neither player as Helmuth's queen and kicker no longer plays. Yeah. Tills knuckle backs. And the clubs come home on the end. And those two overcards, the king and the ace in a raised pot pre, might allow Helmuth to escape a bet from Daniel. Overtly scary for, for Phil facing uh, aggression. Let's see. Looks like Daniel does reach 2,000, and fours and deuces with the queen. Kind of a weird spot. I think we find the fold. There's just enough sort of stuff. The ace high stuff, the club club stuff. There is some backdoor hard wow, heart. Interesting. Maybe, but okay, here we go. Oh. Fold. Good fold. Winner yeah. for Negs. Good fold. Normal. Had a very good hand. True. Ace no good. It's all true. Wow. Negs and Phil, heads up. Wow. I mean, it's all happening, Ollie. I'll tell you what. I, Ace no good. 
I didn't see this. I didn't think I had much better than that. That Daniel would be much better than an ace. I mean, I, I, I smashed the flop hmm. by the river. I couldn't beat an ace. Hmm. Phil's second round opponent. There were so many people Flush? lined I know. up. Wow. I was Maybe. surprised too. Wow. I'm glad he is, though. Then. Same. Maybe the queen or something, maybe. Especially given he really took a beating against Doug Polk. That's called. Financially, obviously. But I think he did garner a lot of respect in the process, 100%. too. 100%. I'll check. check. King, queen, deuce. Couple of clubs. King's up for Helmuth here. Check. Negranu does not see bet. Picks up the bad side of a gut shot on the turn. Take your money. All right, Damn well, it! Really had oh, I had the nuts, basically. I had nothing. God, I needed you to have ace king. Ooh, that good, huh? Oh yeah. Ooh. I needed you to have ace king on the flop. Oh, we st we'd still be dancing. We'd get it in, huh? No. <laughs> I don't know how much money you're 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 going to lose when uh, when I start winning some pots. You won one. Maybe two. Yeah, but you said, you know, all every match you play, the other guy wins like 60% of the hands, and you always that is, That's an absolute see? fact. Right? Every, every match I play, the other guy wins at least 55%. Yeah. Yeah. I, win, I win most of those matches, but... Yeah. Speaking of ace-king. Cool. So it comes with the limp, protecting the limping range. And the bottom end of Daniel's range. This I don't really understand. Yeah, I'm going with 3-7. I could go with 4 if you prefer. I like think it's standard, but I'm splitting threes and sevens. I think you it's kind I mean? of a mess around kind it of thing. Mixed strategy, Phil. Seven hundred. You know what I mean, guys? Like Negrano's so confident, he's just all right. We're suited. We got the nut low. Maybe I could beat it. And the call maybe re-raise, but he comes with the call. Okay. Well, the door looked good, but we got the middle east straight draw back door situation versus top top. So let's see. Obviously a great situation for Phil. Looks like he comes with a, a kind of tickle. And we have the min click up. A Just little north, north of, of it. Min. Yeah. Correct. I'm All right, Phil. I missed. He's out of there. Ace queen, no good. Yeah, I had. You had. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I didn't have that. Man, lucky it didn't come ace high. You get me, ace king, ace queen. If you really did have ace queen, I didn't have ace queen. <laughs> Hell, I wanted a to re-raise, there. but there's something nice about like I, sh I messed it up. I should have hemmed and hawed and called the four, and let you bluff off another 900 or something. Yeah, would have been better. I would have bet more. I would have just. I probably would have bet all three streets. Go yep, go go! But I might have got there. Maybe. Who knows? Some weird posture. Since I man. raise, I figured. I'm not corner. sure I think if I'm it's also just raising with eights and eight or six. Yeah. Pure transparency. I, I don't know. Or you know, if it's a leveling game. It's all of the above. Let's just see. I will it, check. It, it's primal out there. It's a feeling out. Blinds are small. They're pretty deep. Here we go. A couple okay. of tens and a seven. Not in either neighborhood. And Negreanu with the initiative follows through on the 250 pre. Phil with the Schmidt, still with King Check. Deuce, bravo. Let's see. Buck and a quarter. Okay. And a binky on the turn. And here goes Negrano with a sort of lack of interference with the draws. One of these weird spots where sometimes you don't want interaction with the flop to keep barreling, but of course, Jen for Phil. I mean, Negrano drawing dead. Check. Bill, check calling the 750. Will Daniel try to rep some Queen Jack or some Ace X? Checks. Good King question. Jack. He gives King's up good. winner. And called mm -hmm. Phil's hand. Negrano with a bit of disdain, maybe, for Phil's continue, but we don't know. Trappy, trappy. Winner Helmy. Trappy, trappy. I messed up with the Ace King. I had the idea. Yeah. For some reason, I a just sip thought, of yeah, you know, I'm going to pop him. Went against my usual. Mm -hmm. Should have smooth called you. I might have picked up a lot more than hand. Oh, oh, oh. could have hit a miracle. Runner, runner. Yeah, of course. But, but you bet 700, then 400. 
you I think you have to come after that pot. Maybe you get unlucky and turn a jack or something. Yeah. Jack ten. I don't know. Gotta rethink that strategy. If I'm gonna be doing this shit. Check. If I'm gonna limp with Ace King, I gotta maybe just wait till the river. Middling stuff suited in both instances and the all diamond 200. flop. With the straight flush redraw for Negranu, who is up against middle Ooh, pair. He's the king of diamonds. Deuce, please. Check. Yeah. <laughs> wow! I mean, I, I can't beat kings, can I? Hold on. Oh, I have a big hand, but I can't beat kings. Daniel check called the 200 on the flop. Both players check the turn. Okay. Now fourth pair are the sevens. 800. And facing a bet of 800, which oh, they almost had a straight comfortably flush. released to. Good lay down. I mean. Oh, bluff me. No, oh, 6 8 of diamonds. Wowie. A flop to open and a straight flush draw and a flush. Wow. I hit that flop too. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. Oh, I'm glad a nine didn't come. Two pair would have been tougher to get away from. Yeah. Early advantage to Negranu here, albeit modestly. And, and easing in, if you will, Ali. Nice little first level. Get your feet wet. Have some fun with Philly. You may notice the stack of plaques. Each player with five 60-second time banks, a 30-second shot clock in play. Shoots at 2.5. How many foot the seven, Dewey? Oh my. 14. And we see this a lot. People take the dead bottom the of the money. range and they play back at, at their opponent. He's out. You know, a seven deuce offsuit doesn't want to do this, but the way I interpret this is a guy who's had an amazing career. He's saying, I have the stone worst hand. Let me just give back a little winner. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's not a good play, but. Philanthropy? That's Phil Helmuth right there. Early lead for Negs. I mean, we got the belt right here. It's all fairly meaningless at this point. A lot of poker left, but let's see. The jack five oh off. I played that ace king. Limpy. Check. Check. not my strongest. I just smooth called the 400. <laughs> 10 in the window, followed by a couple of fours. Advantage Negranu. Check. Turn checked. Tens and sixes. Three streets of checking for Daniel, who sought to induce the jack high to get Six frisky. Ten. Unsuccessful. Sure. Yeah, I think that. <laughs> but when you're able to show down a few of those, Nick, you kind of give your opponent some pause yeah. in future situations. <laughs> like you'll check some decent King is hands. Good. You bet sure. the river. I wasn't folding. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> That would have been a really weird play if I just bet like 3,000 into 200 on the river. That might have got it. Yeah. 3,000 into 200. You got that? You got that? In your repertoire? How much horticulture <laughs> goes on in the early rounds? Twice. No, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> when you're playing heads up, Nick, as far as seed planting, looking to do some things Ooh. that you'll be able to exploit they had a nice hand here. later on in a match. You. Okay. This hand's been lucky against you. I already won a nice pot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'll check. It's all real. Help me through the, a very high frequency seed bet. Ali, it's all real. You know, uh, seed planting early in a match like this is, is a thing. They're all jockeying for, okay. for kind I'll of check. pseudo position. We have a check call here from Help me through the King 10. Let's see. King 10 still good after the four pairs on the turn. Two tone board. Check. Yeah. Negranu not Check. looking king to ten. barrel the turn yeah. or the oh, river. No. Kicker plays. Four fair fours, king, queen, ten. Yeah? Yeah, plays. that's a winner. Okay. Yep. I mean, yeah. Some of these hands aren't the most exciting, but we're getting right into the nitty gritty. As far as you're saying, Ali, with the posturing and all this, yeah, it's a thing. I mean, we'll see. They're out there, of course, it's trying to establish psychological dynamics. I know you're a vegan guy. Oh, you go for it. You do your thing. 
you gotta get that uh, nourishment. I mean, don't do it. Don't do yeah. us like this. The layer of steam on the inside of the oh, clam God. shell alone suggests oh a real God. sog on that bun. This oh, is the so he went back. This is, is look cool. <laughs> this is Ted Bundy here. I mean, what do we? Oh God, the chicken breast assassin. Right away, I mean, ten hands in, he's just wolfing that. You could eat it right before the match, but here we are. I mean, and it, it's been I sitting so there cool, but my wife for a, a, quite he some limp, time. Limps right in with a beauty. More seven deuce out there. The Grani checks back. A Helmuth obviously establishing the limp. Check. I mean, a couple of whiffs on the King Jack 4 board. Same story on the turn. Maybe ne next fires 100. Lovely. I like this, you know? We have seven deuce on King Jack, Jack 4, 5, multiple checks. I think I'm going to beat nine high. Three streets later, by the way, and that chicken nice. still working. Take it down. Me? <laughs> yeah. Winner. I was supposed to call with ten high. Uh huh. You crazy. Call with ten high. Yeah. Those well, some spots are I mean, weird. The last guy played. Antonio. Yeah. Ten high would have been good there. I might have called him and quickly. Are you referring to when you way. bite off like you said, more chicken sandwich than you're prepared? <laughs> Some debatable. To chew through and swallow. Or was that not what you were referring to? <laughs> Bold. He's out. 9-3 off. Done. Winner. I mean, 50 hundred, 50K stacks. Like, we're going to, an easing in process, if you will. You really brought it on that 9-3 muck, by the I way. I always have food with me in these big events. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. What kind of food do you have? What? I bring oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah. Like what kind? Going on. Vegan stuff. I know. You just, you know those <laughs> stuffed animal machines? What kind of vegan, let me be more specific. What kind of vegan food do you have? I actually, I didn't bring much now because oh. I just brought snacks. Mm -hmm. Ungodly volume it's being so pursued. So I mean. We got, we got the San Francisco suited. You put, Let's see. You put the quarter in the machine, mm -hmm. then the claw comes mm -hmm. down, and then <laughs> the stuffed <laughs> animal you're trying. All right, here he is. Okay. That's we have a little check. limp. Check <laughs> from Negs. Jackson five, let's see. Check. Got the back door situation for how many bottom pair for nags. Puts a hundred in there. A little Half seasoning. pot. Negs is in. Picks check. up the gut shot straight draw on the turn, does Helmuth. Quick Eight check back. Check. Yep. Pair fives. Fives will win it. How many of the give up? Sure. I mean, okay. Mini break. And that is going to draw the curtain on yes, the money. first level. And you see the fist pump from Daniel Negrano. He's ahead. We'll be back in a bit.